Hello, my dear students, how are you? I hope you are doing better than me. I have my, my problems with my throat, so I hope I can do a good job with this story. Today, I have a surprise for you. Today, we are going to look at a story, a Christmas famous story by Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens was a famous, very famous writer, an Englishman who studied only until he was 15 years of age. Uh, he left the school for good. He didn't have the means to continue studying, but he was very, very talented, intelligent, and he wrote many, many stories about his time, about the things that he could see around. And one of those stories is called A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And we are going to start with these. I hope you enjoy it. Try to imagine it, okay? One Christmas Eve, people were going around trying to get somewhere. Mr. Scrooge, who was a grumpy, stingy old man, found himself staring at the window and was disgusted by the sight. He couldn't understand why people were running around in the cold. This was nonsense to him for he hated Christmas and thought, found nothing good at all. So he decided to sit at his desk and check the long list of all the people who owed him money. At that moment, his helper hesitantly approached him and asked, timidly. Uh, uh, is, is it at all possible for, for me to leave a little earlier today? It is Christmas Eve, you know, and I must buy my son a present. Oh, how ridiculous. A present? What on earth for? Besides, buying a present at the last moment? Hmm, you should have bought it long ago. With great sadness, his helper went back about his work. And at that very moment, someone knocked at the door. Mr. Scrooge's helper up opened the door. It was his young nephew who had come to pay him a visit. He came to invite him over to his house for a Christmas Eve dinner. But because Mr. Scrooge didn't like Christmas and he thought of the celebrations as being nonsense, he refused to go just like he had always done before. His poor nephew left, feeling so sad. Hmm. After he had left, someone else knocked at the door. Oh, who's knocking now? He angrily murmured. Why don't they leave me alone? This time, a couple of men entered and asked him if it would be if it was possible for him to donate some money for the poor orphans. But very unkindly, he replied he would not give them any money. Go away, he said. Go bother someone else. I am in no mood to throw away money. Hmm. With great pain and disappointment, the two men left. Later that night, Mr. Scrooge went home and got ready 
forbid. But right at that moment, something really strange began to happen. A very old, very cold wind rushed through the windows and ooh, the doors began to swing, making howling scary noises all around. At the beginning, Mr. Scrooge didn't seem to take notice, any notice of what was happening, but But then, all of a sudden, a gloomy ghost appeared right in front of him. It was his partner, Marley, from work, who had just passed away a couple of months ago. Mr. Scrooge could not believe his eyes. He had never been so frightened in his whole life. He, he could hardly speak, and he told the ghost, How can this be? You, you, you died. Go, go, go away. Go back to the place where you came and leave me alone. I haven't done anything wrong. Just as he said that, He noticed the ghost was in shackles in his hands and feet. He told Mr. Scrooge that he was being punished to go around the world carrying this weight due to his selfishness and greediness. So he told, so the ghost admonished Mr. Scrooge not to make the same mistake he had done. He, he warned him, you'll be just like me if you don't change your ways. Stop it, Mr. Scrooge said. Go mind your own business and leave me be. You're already dead. The ghost heavily burdened, simply replied, well then, I just wanted to warn you, there are other ghosts, three other ghosts will come to show you your past, your present, and your future. Even though Mr. Scrooge has been strongly shaken. He acted as if none of this had happened and went straight to bed. But soon enough, a light caught his eye. When he finally opened his eyes, a child ghost appeared. This was the ghost from last year's Christmas Eve. He was stunned. He could not believe his eyes. The ghost said, Hi, we shall, we shall now take a little trip to the past. He was so scared as the ghost took him flying away. He was brought to his childhood years. There it was, Mr. Scrooge, as a child, happily playing with friends at the schoolyard. They were hanging Christmas decorations all around. Mr. Scrooge remembered how much he had enjoyed that time. It was obvious how happy he was. Later on, the ghost took him to a party at his boss's home when he was a young man. They all were having such a great time. He was dancing with his 
beautiful young wife. Oh, how he reminisced those times. At last, the young child ghost took Mr. Scrooge back uh, to another Christmas Eve. There he was with his sweet wife, who unconsolably, unconsolable cried about the old days when they were when they used to have so much fun but now she complained all he could think about was work 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 and making money no more love and sweetness no more joy in their lives. So she said, I think we should part. Right there, Mr. Scrooge cried, no more, please, no more. He could no longer bear the look of that day. So he asked the ghost to please take him back. And we are going to stop right there. This is a story and we are going to see it in a couple of classes. I hope you found that this is a very uh, known story. We can watch the movie every year about Mr. Scrooge and the ghost of past, present and future. There's a lot of new vocabulary for you to learn, so try, try to grasp it, okay? And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. See you next class. Bye-bye.